have today's food for thought comes from the first chapter of Isaiah, verses 16 and 17, which reads, Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes, cease to do evil, learn to do good, seek justice, rebuke the oppressor, defend the fatherless, plead for the widow. There is something that has to be said about simply doing the right thing. The real shame is that we, mankind, we, we have to be repeatedly reminded about doing the right thing. Of course, someone smart will say that doing what is right it is subjective, it is based on one's opinion of what is right and what is good. However, I will point out to you that what is right, it has been defined for us by the Lord who we should understand is righteous. Let us all understand today, there is nothing subjective about what is right according to God. The Lord says to us, learn to do good. What is good according to God? God said, seek justice. What is just according to him? Loving our neighbors as we love ourselves. That is, again, uplifting each other. What is good according to God? God has said, rebuking the oppressor. That is, correcting those that rather tear down than to lift up. What is good according to God? God has said that we should defend the fatherless and that we should plead for the widow. In other words, the Lord has said that we should help those who are in need of help. I will say to you today that the Lord, he hasn't asked much of us when it comes to doing what is right and what is good. Yet we, mankind, we just can't seem to beat our nature of sin in that we always seem to succumb to doing what is unrighteous. Today, We all must learn to do our very best to simply do what is good according to the Lord. If we truly make a sincere effort to do what is good according to Him, I truly believe that this world would be a better place.